potential living in counter vision. Many different applications for the image processing and counter vision thresholding used as a previous step and one of the important steps for each application in this area. The thresholding is a binarization the image is technique or algorithm which use for create binary image and use for the processing and the next step for the counter vision application. Thresholding used to separate for object from background and also is remove a noise. It can be used for segmentation and because thresholding decrease amount of data is increase the speed of the processing the application of the counter vision. Threshold is used for many different applications and usually for each case we have a different algorithm to use for the threshold. Because one threshold method may be not work well in some kind of specific application. There is many papers you can go and see and search about it. I will put the links of some of the latest version of the papers in this area. Thresholding basically divided in two categories, single threshold and multi-level threshold. In the signal threshold method, we have only zero and one. We have a binary image. Another kind of threshold is multi-level threshold, which use different kind of uh, output, and the uh, output is not binary sometimes. In the in the single threshold method, we have a one threshold value, and if the pixel intensity or pixel value bigger than this threshold value is equal to one and if below threshold value equal to zero. So at the end we have a binary image which separate the object based on this threshold value. And in many different applications like OCR, cartel recognition, or many different applications, the threshold used for, for example, for license plate recognition system. So how to use the threshold? Uh, based on the OpenCV library, we have many different Threshold algorithm you can use. First, you need to install the OpenCV. By using the pip package, you can pip install OpenCV Python in order to use the threshold method. For the first step, without any algorithm, we just want to see how it's working. So we just uh, set manually this threshold value to the number. And because we use the gray scale image, the image, uh, the pixel value or pixel intensity for each pixel equal to 0 to 255. And we can manually set the threshold value. For example, we set 130. And if the pixel intensity more than this threshold value is equal to 1. In the Python, very simple program can use for this algorithm. I can show you. And we have a Python program here. You can download the source code also from the GitHub URL that I put later on inside the video. So this is our program.
and okay we need to import the numpy and cv2 it's open cv when you install the pick package open cv you can import the open cv library and pixel value pixel position start from here inside the image in the computer and in this direction is the x in this direction is the y so if your pixel for example your pixel resolution is 100 times 100 the 100 times 100 will be here or if you want to use column and rows is start with 0 0 and column and rows okay now we read the image and we want to know how many rows on the columns this is the resolution of your image and by CVT color you can change your color image to the gray scale so later on we have a pixel intensity between 0 until 255 now in the row and column if the pixel value is more than 130 equal to 1 which means the latest one because we want to show you here we use 255 and else is a 0 and here I show the original image and the output image after the threshold this is manual step so I run this program okay now you can see the this is the original image this is the original image and this is the threshold version of the image is it is like black and white so now we want to use uh, algorithm inside the open cv also is one of the famous methods for the thresholding and also we have an adaptive threshold method and we have many different kind of thresholding inside the open cv already implemented you can use any of them you want for example i want to use this one and I come on this part Okay, we read the image and here we use the threshold Otsu method is one of the famous method in threshold lane and we run this program. Okay, you can see this is a much nicer output compared to the previous one. And you can use any of the algorithm inside the OpenCV. Okay, two extra things. Uh, PSNR, pitch signal to noise ratio is a formula that you can compare similarity between two images. Usually inside the papers that I refer here, many people use PSNR to compare the results for the ground truth. If you have a ground truth of the each image, you can use the PSNR in order to compare similar to the output of your algorithm or any of the algorithm with the ground truth. And you can refer to these papers all related to the thresholding in different environment or different application use cases and 
You can download the source code from the GitHub repository. Thank you for watching.